Everything is cool, BCS Universe. In fact, everything is not a problem on Let's Play Earthworm Jim. Now we have this fun little mini game we get to deal with where we are in a bungee jumping match against Major Mucus. Yes, his name is Major Mucus. And our job is to knock him into the wall. So we just do that, and then he'll eventually, uh, this bungee cord will eventually snap. Which is kind of the idea. Now, of course, if you run into the wall, your bungee cord gets a little bit snapped there. By the way, uh, your bungee cord is directly related to your health. So if you come into this thing with low health, uh, you'll come into this, you'll, uh, you'll start off with not as much of a bungee cord. So, okay, what we want to try and do here is kind of just hug the wall. and Well, in this first round, I gave it away first round. Well, it said round one, so there's obviously going to be more than one round. Oops. They don't want to get too close to the wall. Yeah, okay, we sh one more, one or two more hits. Sure, there we go. Got it. Cool. Well, that wasn't a problem. Uh, round two. Round two. Fight. All right, here we go. Point. All right, now it starts to get a little bit more difficult. He kind of starts to figure out how to work his old bungee cord thing, and. Now we have this giant monster at the bottom to deal with. And if he hits you, it's instant death. So we want to avoid uh, that if we can. And if you die, that's what happens. You fall into the lava there. Or into the pool of green snot or something. This level is kind of gross, actually. A lot of people really like this level. I can't stand it. This level just annoys me to no end. So what we're doing as we go up, we want to kind of get around him there, and then just, yeah, just do a good ram into the wall there. Now, he, he will sometimes go into this little noodly spin move there, and we want to avoid that, because I think you take damage. Ugh. You have to be very sensitive with your controls, too, because you know, if you go a little bit too far, there we go, got some good hits on him in there. All right, now we'll go up here. Got it. All right, and we're doing good. Whew, I'm glad that's over. All right, hit round three. Round three, fight. All right, fine. Hoy! I wanted to say that. Okay. By the way, if you, uh, a couple of things. If you push up and down, you can control Earthworm Jim kind of in mid-flight there. All right, now the trick to this one is just right at the very top, yeah, I just gotta get a get a good thing on him, and just really keep ramming him into that wall. If you can catch him at the very top, that's the best. Oh shoot! Oops. And that's what happens if you get eaten by that monster. So okay, let's try that again. One more time. Uh, so yeah, you push up and down. You mirth, you can move Earthworm Jim vertically. If you push the A button, you also do a little bit of a dash. Now, I don't like using the dash that often, because if you miss, you know, there's a good chance you'll run into the wall. All right, now, you, you've got to catch him at just the right time in order for this to work. Yeah, there we go. And then just do a bunch of damage to him that way. So I'll see if I can do this again. Kind of go right up there. Very top move. There you go. Got him. And that's how you deal with that guy. Reptile wins. Flawless victory. Fatality. Whew! Glad to be done with that. Groovy! 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 All right. And now some Andy Asteroids. Because, why else? What, what better way is there to deal with snot? Man, I had to re-record that snot a problem like four times. Because I just hate that level. Okay, now we're starting to get the point in Andy Asteroids where, um... Psycho is getting faster, and he can get these Woe Nelly things. So we want to just, we want to definitely hit all of them so that he doesn't. And we definitely do not hit any of these asteroids. Because if you do, well, not only do you lose 10 health, but you slow down. Psycho's right on you. 
the whole time. So, there's the barking sound, and the whistle. Oh, jeez, that was close. And then the sheep. Oh, man. Yeah, this 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 Andy asteroid starts to get a little bit more difficult too. So save your uh, shields in case Psycho accidentally gets ahead of you, and then that way you can um, you can you can hold them off there. There we go. Got him. Woo! Done. Yeah! <coughs> man, I got excited there. All right. Well, what could... Ooh, that music sounds ominous. Level five? Is this really the fifth level, though? I think it is. And whoa, are we in a factory? What dangers could possibly await us here? You're going to have to wait till next time to find out. Till then, this is BCS Buster signing off. Take care, y'all. It's a pretty kick-ass background in music.